It was an agenda to cover up for the toxic and bad behavior of many of my former castmates on that show. And the top of that person would have been Patrick Dempsey. Yeah. He was called Pilot Poison. No one wanted him on that show. They wanted Rob Lowe. Isaiah Washington was on Tavis Smiley's podcast and unloaded on his former Grey's Anatomy co-stars, mainly Patrick Dempsey. Now, if you recall, Isaiah left the show after season three after he was accused of using a homophobic slur to describe T.R. Knight. Now, Isaiah says this all stemmed from Patrick's abusive onset behavior. He has a very colorful, checkered background. Domestic violence, alcoholism, fights. He was called pilot poison. He was not a nice guy. From day one, he threw Kate Wash through a window out of anger. He terrorized uh, 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 T.R. And the only reason T.R. name was in that sentence is that I'm not T.R. If you continue to treat me this way, I will kick your He got on my face, assaulted me three times physically. I did what I had to do as a man. And that was the rest of his And I cussed him out. You're not going to punk me. You're not going to treat me like a B word. And you're not going to treat me, you know, like an F word. So right there, Isaiah says that he used the F word to describe TR. Like he says, you're not going to treat me like TR, but he uses the F word. And then he still denies that he used the homophobic slur. I don't really get it. Now, Isaiah does say that he regrets using it at the Golden Globes backstage. That I regret. I should have never used the word that I had been accused of using for three months prior. Mm -hmm. Because the narrative changed. And then it got stuck on me. Now, I don't really want to make this about Isaiah. We've been having that conversation for over 15 years. And in this conversation with Tavis, he says he used the F word. So he used that word. He used it. This is really about his accusations about Patrick Dempsey's behavior. Now, Isaiah goes on to say that Elm Pompeo was actually paid hush money to keep silent about Patrick's abusive behavior. Ellen was always ghetto. Always. She took $5 million under the table that I have receipts for through my whistleblower, Kim Clayton Hirschman. took $5 million during the height of the Me Too era to not tell the world how toxic and nasty Patrick Dempsey really was. You want to run around here like you're the keeper of all feminists, feminine, feminine women and the feminist movement? No, I want, I want her. I even went after her. I went after her on Twitter about this, the hush money. Variety came, wanted to do a story, and then suddenly it went away. Now let's look back at what Ellen said on Variety's Actors on Actors in 2019, where she was talking about the on-set atmosphere. You know, we had a, a serious, serious culture problem mm -hmm. on Grays for a good number of years. I would mm -hmm. say the first 10 years. Mm -hmm. We had serious, serious uh, culture issues. Um, very bad behavior, mm -hmm. really toxic work environment. After season 10, I would say we had some big shifts mm -hmm. in front of the camera, behind the camera, and then it became my goal to turn that set around and to have an experience there that I could be happy about and proud about mm -hmm. because we had had so much turmoil for 10 years. And so then my mission became, this can't be all this show was, just, mm -hmm. you know, fantastic to the public in a disaster behind right. the scenes. And I think Shonda Rhimes and I, who's the creator of yeah. the show, showrunner at the time, decided that we wanna, we wanna rewrite the ending of this story mm -hmm. and we wanna turn the page and start a new chapter and turn the culture around behind, behind the, 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 the curtain. Patrick Dempsey left the show in season 11, mm -hmm. and I think that the studio and the network believed the show could not possibly go on without the male lead. Right. So I had a mission to sort of prove that it there could. There you go, yeah. Now, just gonna put a few things out there. I mean, Ellen Pompeo was pretty clear in her timeline in that variety clip. She's saying after 10 seasons, things changed in front and behind the camera. The only thing that we were really aware of after season 10 was Sandra Oh left the show. I don't know if that means that there was a toxicity with Sandra Oh, but that's, the main person that left after season 10. We can't really say that Ellen's you know, confusing the timeline here because then she goes on to say that Patrick Dempsey left after season 11. So she's not you know, confusing those two dates. So that's a little strange. Um, the reality is, if you listen to the whole conversation with Tavis, um, Isaiah is very, very uh, descriptive about Patrick's behavior. He didn't just make this up. This isn't just pull it with thin air. That'd be pretty crazy for him to create this whole scenario. He goes on and on about Patrick's behavior. So. That tells me there's something there. Um, I need to hear from Ellen Pompeo about this. Um, Ellen Pompeo is not one to keep silent about stuff. So she has her own podcast now. So if Ellen doesn't address this, I think there's gonna be some real weight to it and I'm gonna believe it completely. 
Um, but I need to hear from Mel Pompeo what's going on here because she, yeah, she's a very honest person, straightforward person. So I suspect she will address this. I think she has to. And if she doesn't, I think uh, we have to believe that Isaiah is bang on. But yeah, I think we're kind of in the middle of this story right now. I need to know a little bit of information. But yeah, what's your initial reaction to hearing these accusations about Patrick Dempsey? I'd love to hear your thoughts.